Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle fully inscribed in a right triangle uh, A, B, C, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this side length uh, B, C is uh, 15 units and this uh, segment uh, A, D is uh, 24. And now our task is uh, to calculate the radius uh, of this uh, semicircle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to show you two different approaches to solve this given uh, problem. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. Uh, let's recall uh, two tangent theorem. According to this theorem, if two tangent segments uh, are drawn uh, to one uh, circle from the same external point, uh, then they are congruent as you can see in this uh, diagram where this uh, segment AO is equal to this segment uh, OB. Now let's focus on our problem. We can see that this uh, segment uh, is going to be equal to this uh, segment since uh, they are uh, two tangents. Since this side is uh, 15, so therefore uh, this side length is going to be 15 units as well. And now let's make an observation. We know that this uh, segment uh, AD is uh, 24. This segment uh, CD is uh, 15. So therefore this whole segment uh, AC is going to be 24 plus 15 is going to give us uh, 39 units. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle ABC whose side lengths are uh, 15 and uh, 39 and now we are going to calculate uh, this uh, side length AB. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean uh, theorem and here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, C. I'm going to call this side A and this side uh, lowercase b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula. We got A square plus B in our case is 15. So 15 square equal to 39 square. Let's simplify a square plus 225 equal to, that is going to give us 1521. Let's go ahead and subtract 225 from both sides. This is gone. So a square turns out to be equal to 1296. Now let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our a value turns out to be positive 36. And we know our a side, uh, this one uh, represented by this uh, side length uh, ab. So therefore our ab length turns out to be 36 units. And here's our next step. I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point of tangency d. Now we can see that this uh, OD is going to be our radius. Let me go ahead and call this uh, lowercase r. And this uh, OB is uh, our radius as well. So it's going to be a lowercase r as well. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees. And here we can see that this is our tangent line and this is our radius. Uh, no wonder this angle uh, ADO is going to be 90 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's make an observation. We know that this uh, whole uh, side length uh, AB is uh, 36. This uh, radius OB is uh, lowercase r. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, AO is going to be 36 minus uh, r. And now let's focus on these uh, two right triangles, uh, this big right triangle ABC and the other right triangle is uh, ADO. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, uh, their angle sum alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this angle is our angle uh, alpha. This angle is uh, 90 degrees, so therefore this angle has got to be our angle uh, beta. And now let's focus on this uh, smaller right triangle ADO. This is our angle alpha, this is our 90 degree angle. 
So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore, we conclude that these are two right triangles, triangle ABC and triangle ADO are similar triangles according to angle, angle similarity theorem. So therefore, we are going to have a proportion. Let's go ahead and write it down. The ratio of R and 24. Let me go ahead and write down R divided by 24 is going to be equal to ratio of 15 and this side length 36. Let me go ahead and write down 15 divided by 36. Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 24 to isolate R and we can see that this uh, 24 and 24 is gone. So therefore our radius uh, is going to be equal to if we simplify everything on the right hand side, uh, we are going to be having a 10 on the right uh, hand side. So thus the radius of this uh, semicircle turns out to be 10 uh, units. And now let me show you the alternative uh, method. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ADO whose side lengths are 24 or and 36 uh, minus r. So therefore we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for uh, this radius r. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this side uh, a, this side uh, lowercase b and this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, a square in our case is a 24 square plus uh, r square equal to 36 minus r whole square. Let's simplify. So we're going to have 576 plus r square equals to and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on the right hand side. So therefore we're going to have a 1296 minus 72 r plus r square. And now we can see this r square and the r square they are gone. Let me go ahead and move this 72 r on the left hand side. And at the same time I'm going to move this 576 on the right hand side. So therefore we can write uh, 72 R equal to 1296 minus uh, 576. So we are going to have a uh, 72 R. If we subtract this one that is going to give us uh, 720. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 72. So this is gone. So therefore our radius uh, R turns out to be 10 uh, units. So thus our radius uh, R turns out to be 10 uh, units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.